Good morning guys, happy Saturday and welcome to another weekend vlog. Today is Saturday the 27th of March. It's currently half past seven in the morning. It must be bad, running gear on. I'm going out for a run. I'm going out for a run with a friend today. It's the first time I have ever been out for a run with anybody else other than the kids. Yeah, quite looking forward to it. It's gonna be something different that I haven't ever done before. Rubbish sleep last night, totally rubbish sleep. Sorry, someone is, <laughs> uh, the pipe works are just kicking in. Um, I finished nights yesterday morning, just couldn't sleep properly last night. I think David was a bit restless as well. So totally rubbish sleep, I think I eventually properly went to sleep about five and then my alarm's gone off to go for a run. Yay! But I think if it would have just been me, I wouldn't have got up and out of bed. So I am gonna head out the door in about 10 minutes. We're meeting um, in our local village, sort of like, which is our halfway point, And then I'm not quite sure what we're doing or where we're going. So I will catch you guys when I get back from my run. See you in a bit. It's much later in the day now. Well, I say much later in the day. It's now half 11. So from when I spoke to you last, it was eight o'clock. Um, obviously went for the run with a friend. Got music going on here. A chill out vibe, who needs a soundtrack when David just cranks the music up. Um, yeah, so we went out for a run with my friend. It was actually really good. I really, really enjoyed it. Didn't realize how far we went. So I did a nice six miles, so 10K, um, sort of met her at halfway point and then um, did a nice loop round down the canal, which was lovely, had a nice chat. Yeah, it was really good. Had a shower, breakfast, some nice coffee. We got a great order through. Let me show you what came through the post. Um, which we ordered. We were trying to get one from the local shops, so we don't have to pay postage, but they've not had any in. So we managed to get some Tim Hortons coffee. Yes, so this is good. I need to order some, oh my God, smell of vision it smells amazing. So we've already had one of these this morning. I need to order some Joffreys, don't we? Sorry, Dave's too busy stuffing his face. And then we also need to order some Dunkin' Donuts again. They're my three staples at the moment. What earth's that soundtrack like a chipmunk? And a puppy. And a puppy. We're not ordering a puppy. <laughs> He's obsessed. He's obsessed. Um jobs again today. Um not sure what we're doing. Might gonna nip the butchers. We're gonna have burgers for tea. Um butchers burgers are lovely. I've still got some of that burger sauce we had from a few weeks ago, so that is really yummy. Got some good bacon in the fridge. Um, and that's about it for our Saturday, I think. Oh, got two good to go. <sighs> Order to pick up at half two, so got that to go and pick up. I've not done one for about two weeks, a week. There's just one thing missing from our day. DIY? Oh, two yeah. things then. What? We're not going to the tip. No, we're not going to the tip, yet. I'd quite like to tackle the garage, actually. So that would involve lots of journeys to the trip. Skip. Trip. Tip. Skip. Are you having a skip? Need a skip. For need that. a skip. Oh. Yeah, probably need a skip to be fair. If anyone wants to come and sort my garage out, I've got lots of, still got plastic toys from when the kids were toddlers. That's how bad that garage is. Um, could finish the furniture off though. I don't know if it's gonna rain or not. It absolutely chucked it down last night. Um, and look, it's nice and dry this morning, but a little bit chilly and breezy. But enough waffling, I'm gonna to head to the butchers and have some lunch. So see you in a bit. Just come back from the garden centre. Um, we stupidly forgot what we actually went for. <laughs> the plan was to just show them, ask what we wanted at the till, because we wanted some compost, which was all outside. And I forgot to buy it at the till. And then by the time I went back in, the queue was huge, so I wasn't joining it. We have done something a bit cheeky though. We've got some chips and gravy for lunch. Look at these lovely bats. Ah, look at the lovely bats. Look at they look. Is it a bat? Is it a balm? A bread cake? A muffin? For me, it's a chip balm. What do you call it? Bread cake? It's not a bread cake. It's a chip balm. Nice. We just had our lunch, which was great. Did you like, like your chips? Yeah. Chips and gravy. So gravy to dip in. Wasn't much fun though when I dropped my chip in my cup of tea, was it? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
So we sat down here today because as part of this weekend's vlog, we wanted to do our giveaway eventually. We've got round to it, haven't we? So it's our thousand subscriber giveaway just to say thanks to everybody that subscribes and Thank everybody you. that's watching these weekly vlogs because um, we really, really appreciate it, don't we? Yeah. We like it, the fact that you're watching, you're liking, you're commenting. Yeah, we absolutely just want to say thanks. So it is just going to be a one winner, I'm afraid. We are going to give away some other things for other people, but this is just really just going to be one give at one person. So let me just show you what we've got. Yeah. So these are all from Disney creators, sort of local creators. Yeah. The first one I want to show you is from at Diz and More. So this is a new company. They're on Twitter and Etsy, and it's just some badges. How cute are these badges? So adventure is out there badges. So these are the amazing um, Diz and More. I'll obviously leave a link down to all these com these comments down below, all these uh, channels down below or creators. So there's just some adventures out there badges. The next one is from the lovely Reeves family. So Reeves family crafted. Oh. This is an awesome bow. How cool is that? What do you reckon? <laughs> no. No. About me. No, I've already got one of these and you might have already seen it on my Instagram account. So this is a Haunted Mansion one. It is awesome. It's so cute. Um, so yeah, that's from the Reeves Family Crafted and as well as some stickers that go with it. Ooh, is that better? I'm being directed from the, the director in the back of me saying <laughs> if it's in focus or not. Because he doesn't want to take pictures of them all. Lisa has also kind of gifted us um, a 10 oh, can't get it up, a 10% discount code which i can't show you with so if you win these prizes you can also get 10 percent discount from her shop so thanks lisa for that that we really appreciate that what i can smell right now is what what is it um caramel coochie coochie it's so, not chocolate it's not it's it, wax. it looks like chocolate yeah smell it though it smells incredible so this is from the miniature melt shop um yeah this is a, a fantastic wax melt so if you haven't got any a wax melt burner you'll have to get yourself one of these um there may be another one of these to come as well um the one that was for the giveaway david burn in our oil burner our wax burner so we might order a couple more of these yes you did so we'll, we'll see if we send some more of those out so we're hoping to so that's that one and that's from the miniature melt shop and that was on etsy as well the lovely Jane from Timo Sullivan has got an, an amazing craft shop. Now her craft room is to die for. It, you should, should see it, Harry. It's fantastic. So this is from Jane. It's a lovely scented candle. You smell that one? Mm -hmm. uh, with the Disney castle on it. I'm in focus. I need to go back. Back. Mm -hmm. Lovely Disney castle and it says home on it and it's a gorgeous candle. Mm -hmm. I've got one up there in white as well, which I absolutely love. I think I've got two actually which are amazing. I really like that. And also from Jane, she has given us this. Where are we going? Am I right? Yeah. So it's a silicon key ring, so a Mickey key ring. Now I was really tempted to keep this one for myself, but uh, it's for the giveaway. Now all these things I have purchased myself, none of them have come gifted. They're all uh, out of my own pocket. The so all the discount code I've not, I've not bought because Lisa's nice enough to give it away, but none of these things I've, I've paid for all myself. Um, one of the next things we've got are these. I really like these. So this is um, cut from Redbubble and these designs are from Mr. David, from Mr. David and Mr. Ian. Now I absolutely love this crossover design from Kevin and the Aliens. So this is a sticker and this one is picture. I don't know how would you describe it, like a, Fine it's just a, a, a thick sort of cardboard style picture. Um, it actually comes with sticky pads to go with it as well. We've got one of these, but much bigger. So if you'd seen one of our previous vlogs, yeah, it's up on the wall. I might show you in a bit. We've actually got it in a frame, so I'll show you that in a minute. Um, so this, oh, I just love it. It's a fantastic range. Harry wants to keep the sticker, but you're not. And also, I've just, I've just found this. Yeah, it says Mr. David at the bottom, doesn't it? So yeah, that says Mr. David at the bottom. Why those? So the last thing that you can win in the giveaway is, you're gonna show them? Not them, pins. not them. Oh. It's fine, we are gonna yeah. give some pins away. Yeah. So 
So we're going to give some runners up. We're going to send some pins out, probably put some of the little bits of treats in it. But the biggest thing we're going to give away, which Harry and I are wearing, are some t-shirts. So we're going to give some UK Disney vlog t-shirts out. Yep. So they come into different sort of styles and colours. They've got one like the kids one and mine one, which is massive, or we can make it a little bit a smaller logo to the to the side, one of the sides. It's really optional. We haven't bought this item because I know people have got different sizes, different tastes. So once we've found the winner, we'll contact you, see what size you are, and have a look on our website, or not our website. Where do we get it from? Uh, uh, T-Mill. We'll get it from T-Mill. It? Yeah, we'll get it from T-Mill and we'll find out what colour you want, what sort of design you want. I've got a hoodie, which is amazing. It's just got a smaller version of the logo here. Um, but yeah, we'll give away some free badges and then UK Disney Vlog t-shirts. So, to enter, this is the biggest point, to enter, all you need to do is follow the link below. Leave a link below and... Um, Follow the de pretty details out. Not pretty details out. Fill in the details. I'm such an expert, aren't we? We're good at this, aren't we? Yeah, we are. Yeah. So just leave a comment down below. No, no, don't do that. Please don't do that. You can leave a comment down below how awesome these gifts are. Yeah. But to enter the competition, <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't make a children's television presenter, would I? No. No. To enter the competition, just follow the link down below in the comments. Is that right? No? Um, Did I get that right? It's in the description. It's in the description. Description. <laughs> Whatever. Just to clarify, to enter this competition, click on the link in the description below and enter your details. Yeah. Did I get that right? I think so, yes. Okay. <laughs> You're going to give me a pat on the back yeah, and me. Yeah. Right. I'll see you in a bit. We have got jobs to do. No, we haven't really. David and I are going to Aldi and Harry and I are going to film something else. So I'll see you in a bit. Whoa. What the? Woo. Harry, what are you doing? Uh, nothing. Uh, if we're not in a... Uh... Yeah, I don't know, but... <laughs> yeah, no clue what he's up to. What is it? Virtual reality? VR roller coaster. Alright. Yeah. Um, it's been quite a while since I picked up the camera. Obviously you saw Harry and I give, uh, doing the giveaway stuff. Um, apart from that, we went to Aldi. Yeah, we picked up, um, yeah, went to Aldi and went to B&M to pick up a couple of bits. And then David and I went and had a lie down for half an hour. I didn't get to sleep though, unfortunately, which I was hoping to. Um, just about to have some, it's now seven o'clock. Just about to have some what? dinner. We're having burgers again. What's the matter? Yeah, seven o'clock. What time's that? What time's that? What time? Now. Oh, I'm from Dexter. ITV. 103. So, got some burgers on the go. So, these are our burgers from the butchers. I feel like all we do is eat burgers at the minute, but. I just wanted to use the rest of this burger sauce that we got the other week, but these are amazing burgers. Bacon, brioche buns, burger sauce, good. Let me show you what I got from the shops. So, I got this really cute citronella candle from B&M. This lovely hanging potted plant and this other thing as well. I've got this for the garden. So it lights up. I don't know if you can car it doesn't really do it justice because it needs a bit more light and a bit more dark on it. That's cute, isn't it? I like that. The rest of the evening is burgers, telly, so it's afternoon night takeaway is just on in the corner over there. Then it's going to be Saturday night discussions from 8 o'clock, which is what we're watching. It's going to be a bit of a clock conflict between this and that, but I will be watching the discussions from 8 o'clock. Um, so, I might see you in a bit. Oh God, so it's now almost quarter to midnight, just getting in bed. Just watched Saturday night discussions for the last time. 
I'll say the last time, they're definitely going to do specials, but it's the last sort of proper Saturday show. And what a show it was, it was incredible. Well done guys, well done to everyone that's taken part or that puts the show together. Nathan, Paul, Gaznanj, um, Zoe, Sean, you did incredible. Um, it was a privilege to watch and to uh, participate in. Yeah, amazing, amazing guys, well done. <sighs> All emotional now after that. Um, definitely, obviously the right decision for them. Let's hope just future things, future outings and vlogs for those guys, which is what they intended to do in the first place for their channels. And hopefully that's the way they're gonna go. We're gonna go to sleep now. Having said that, I have just turned into night mode a little bit, because obviously I finished my night shifts the other day. Um, so I'm a bit of a night owl, hoping to get to sleep tonight, because obviously I didn't sleep very well last night. What tomorrow brings, not quite sure yet, but whatever it is, we'll take you with us. Night. <sighs> See you in the morning. Good afternoon guys, happy Sunday. It's not the morning, we're in the afternoon already. It's like one o'clock in the afternoon. Really? We haven't even had lunch. We haven't had lunch. Today's an upside down topsy-turvy kind of day. Mm -hmm. We lost an hour last night because the clocks went forward. It really does throw you off, especially if you have a bit of a late night like we did last night. So yeah, we kind of lost an hour. Just makes you feel a little bit weird. David and I, we're watching Line of Duty, catching up with season five what because we are behind um the weather's not gr brilliant today we've got a gap in the rain so we've just come out for a walk just to get, stretch the legs get some fresh Ooh. air yeah look, it's really like, close it's one of the radars for the airport so we're just by manchester airport it is spitting a little bit but it's just so nice to get out of the house and get some fresh air yeah. it's a bit strange today because david was saying it's the last official day of proper lockdown. As of tomorrow, we can meet friends again in a huh? public place, kind of gardens and stuff like that. And yeah, so that's a bit strange. Um, but good, all in the right direction. Positive steps forward. Doing some marching. Let's see where it takes us. Well, we know where it takes us because how many times we've we done this route during lockdown? Lots. A fair few times. Let's just hope it don't slip because it's really, really, really muddy. I'm gonna get across this. Um, use my feet, thanks. Hold my stick. Follow yeah. the stick. I might need your stick in a minute, mate. Hold the stick! Ah, no, it's really bad! Isn't that bad? Dad just put a load of mud on me. I need, I need to have a complaint with the director. I'm a townie, don't forget. I just don't want to fall in. That's all I don't want to do, just fall in. I don't mind a bit of mud on my feet. It's not strong. Oh, what, a poo? No, fertilizer. Ah. Uh, don't fall in there. Do we only ever do this run, this walk, when it's muddy? More fun? Nah. Which way are we going? Under the broken tree or that way? That way? Or that way? How are you, decide? Broken tree. Broken tree it is. Broken tree it is. I made it. Made it through the mud. We're about a mile into the walk right now and we're here again. The airport. It's actually a plane. Yeah, there's a few planes in there. Oh, there's a plane coming in. Yeah, let's a spotted aircraft. Oh, I want to be on a plane. Who wants to be on a plane? Do you remember when we used to go on holiday on them? Yeah, feels like such a long time ago. Hey. I got covered, I fell over. I got my bum. <laughs> yes. My bum. Yeah, you've got a bit as well. I'm inside my jumper! I think we need to wash all the I'm gonna lobster. get in the car. Get it all over your face. You can be naked. Whose idea was this? I suggested the streets and a coffee. It wasn't my idea. Oh. So, oh. If I wanted to join the Krypton Factor, I would. Hey! 
back. There's a reason why I find sickness when the assault course was happening at school. Gordon Burns would be proud of you. Yeah. Oh. Back from our walk now, had a bit of a refresh, a little bit of something to eat and um, yeah, just a bit of coffee, a bit of coffee, a cup of coffee. We were sat down ready for the afternoon to watch Line of Duty, but we decided just to get outside in the garden again before the weather turns. Um, and we need to plant some grass seed because the grass is bare. Um, coat's all cleaned, I'm all cleaned up, all the dirty clothes are in the wash and the chicken is in the oven. Mm, nice Sunday roast ready. Let's just get cracking with some of this garden seeding, hey? I mean, these are just the start of the roast potatoes and they already look fabulous. Another well, 40 minutes of cooking yet. That the door. Look how incredible this looks. Needs more veggies. We didn't buy any more veggies. Amazing homemade Yorkshire pud and these roasties just here. Mm -hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. Her dinner was lovely. I love a roast dinner, but it's just an hour and a half to two hours of cooking, 20 minutes of eating if you're lucky. 10 minutes probably, followed by another half an hour of washing up because we don't have a dishwasher. Is it worth the effort? It looks smudged on your screen. It looks done hazy. Was it worth the effort? I suppose. I suppose. I made me a mean roast dinner. Yeah, it's just the time and the effort. If somebody else cooked it, I wouldn't have to wash it up. Yeah. Like a pub. Cheers to the pub's opening. So just enjoying one of my... Sorry about that, I only... Sorry about that. <laughs> Sorry, that was from the Baker family. My bad impression of Hagrid. Uh, <laughs> just enjoying uh, one of my mother's ship cocktail gins. It's gin with bramble and bitters and rhubarb and custard. It's really, really delicious. With ice, or oh, the ice is melted, and some tonic. So this is a really lovely gin cocktail. <laughs> what happened that? So. David's watching Country Fowl, but I think we're going to put on the rest of uh, Line of Duty Season 5 and then want to watch some Grey's Anatomy because it's been about a week and a half since I watched it last. So that is what we're going to do next. Yeah. Cheers, guys. Go and watch Line of Duty. So all tucked up in bed. Um, yeah, that's that's it for the end of this weekend vlog. Um, not much to show you, I'm afraid. Um, we didn't really do a great deal. I feel like we've done all the DIY we can do. I do need to sort the garage out. It's not getting away with it yet, so I'll save that for another weekend. Um, what are we up to next weekend? I'm working most of it. It's Good Friday next weekend. I will be um, working nights. I'm working Friday, Saturday, finish Sunday. We are heading off to a National Trust property on Sunday, which will be good once we've not been to for a long time because it's out of area. We're going to meet up with some family which would be fantastic to see them in the nice fresh air fingers crossed the weather's good monday bank holiday monday um maybe meeting some family again obviously outside either their house or our house or meet somewhere else we're not quite sure what we're gonna do yet but only if the weather's good because obviously the the rules at the moon minute are the rule of six outside so that is what we're going to be doing um i hope you've enjoyed this weekend's vlog don't forget to um, enter the competition. If you want to enter the competition, you need to fill in the, click, <laughs> I'll do it again. If you want to enter the competition, read the description, click on the link and fill in the form. Um, in the form, it'll tell you what to do, basic details, leave your name and your email address, and we will choose a, the system, not wheel, the system will choose a winner at random. If you want extra entries like be a subscriber and do different things, it's on the form, so David tells me. So make sure you go to the descriptions, fill in the co competition and the prizes will be yours. If you're lucky, um, for those what that person uh, drawn at random, like I said, we'll also be picking a couple of entries um, to send you some badges and some of the little gifts. So that's it for this weekend's vlog. Hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks again for watching everybody. Really appreciate it if you leave us a comment, give us a big thumbs up, ding that bell for any notifications. 
and I will see you again next week. Thanks for watching guys, bye!